Hello everybody, just in time for Artemis Black versus Strider. The kickoff, he's caught the kickoff. Was it a high kick? No, it was a timeout. It was a timeout. So Artemis is starting on turn two. It is Artemis versus Strider 84. In the booth with me is Dimmy G. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Thanks. Um, so yeah, Strider's kicked. He's got his dodge guys on the LOS with his tree. He's got a sidestep dancer, a strip ball dancer, and two wrestle linemen. He's also got like three catches, I believe. I believe that's, yeah, these three are catches. The ponytail ones are the catches. Um, Artemis instant removal. Um, so this is the, or Strider has used the extra money pack to get a third reroll in the Apothecary, which he uses instantly. And Artemis has used the extra skill pack, where you only get three of one skill. So he's gone three guard, three block. So by taking the block on the runner, it counts as your block, you know, your block on your white count for the block count. So he, the, that block is three block, and then two wrestle, and then that gets him an extra tackler. And it's pretty good, isn't it, getting an extra skill, I think. But um, Dimmy went for a more... His standard it's, it's tournament. Overrated, overrated. <laughs> Divi doesn't like guard on the mummies, right? I, it, it's interesting, it's interesting. The, the guard on the mummies is an interesting point. It does make you like, you know, better against bash teams, right? But then obviously, the, against against Sol, the uh, guard on the mummies would have done nothing. Whereas having loads of block ghouls was great for like pressuring the ghouls and uh, the gutters, right? So it was actually great in your game having, having those block guys. Um, and you know, maybe Art would rather have block ghouls now than his. Uh... I think this match, yeah, I think in this matchup, my build is better. But yeah, overall, I think this build is better, definitely. But uh, oh, um, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, an, an extra skill is just better. That's just the simplicity of it. Yeah, like, it, it's worse if you've got to take rubbish skills, right? Like, if you're taking a Kicksaurus, it's not good to have extra skills. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, Wrestle is nearly as good as Block. So It's nearly as good, yeah. The problem is he's got a skillless school as well. I yeah, think he's on bench, bench, right? yeah, he's benched which is Which is interesting, because like, this is the other thing as well with Undead specifically, is that it's, it's actually quite nice to have the extra zombie, because you've got less players to protect. I know this is sounding mad, and it is a bit mad. <laughs> Stay with me, guys. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you, you, you've got an extra player to foul with, and you've got like more screens to protect your mum. Like, I know it sounds really weird as well. You do want to be protecting your mummies because if they do get removed, that it's huge. Yeah, yeah. You turn into like a rubbish human team if you lose a mummy. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be worse than a human team. Like, it's like human teams aren't bad, but uh, you know that they're, they're they're worse than undead teams. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Artemis actually doing well, actually protecting his tackle piece, which is uh, quite interesting. <laughs> I'm making notes. I'm making notes. <laughs> yeah, you do not want to let people it's hit you. Free dice. This yeah. is a free dice for the moment, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He had the tackle on the LS just because it's a block player, right? Like, that's, that's yeah. why it was on the LS. If he'd had blo a block girl, you'd have definitely had the block girl on the LS. Um, but he is, he, is, he is getting it involved there, putting tackle on the catcher. Stun. So he's using it on offense to kind of like you know drive the contact forward, mm. which is okay I've as long as you can protect it. Yeah, I've actually got this match up next as well, so it'd be very mm. interesting to see how it plays out. Ah, yes, of course, versus Misspelled Tree in uh, yep. in our group. Ooh. Artemis is of course in the absolute noobs group, and we are in the group of death. With all of the best coaches, the group of death. I was, I was just thinking that at that precise moment, Jimmy. I was just thinking, oh, I wish I was in this easy group. Play <laughs> <laughs> <Right> now. <laughs> no, I need to study. I need to learn how to play before. We play. Oh <laughs> wow! Instant send off for out. And was it two assist foul? Hmm. This is what, yeah, this is, is tough. And now he's down a player, right? I, I guess there's two stuns on the field, which is like, he's down, he's he's up a player for a turn, but he will be down a player shortly. 
that was a very lucky root and fill stand up for him. Yeah. Like double whammy. Like if this tree stood up, even if it had rooted, it stood up. It's okay. But now that it's not stood up, you know he can't push anyone back into it. Well, he he can, but then they've got to, you know, they're not stood, so it's not going to really matter. Like there's an option to run around the back and push, you know, push him in there, which you know it's just no point with him being lying down, right? But even if he even if he'd rooted last turn, him standing, you know, he could have he could have pushed the cool. You know, it could have been it could yeah. have been something. Whereas now, yeah. it, it, it down for another turn means that. Uh, be done for the drive, yeah, yeah. done for the drive almost. almost uh, yeah. An excellent comment from Christopher B in chat there. Oh, what was it? Have you not got your chat open? The, the tree has a frenzy dancer. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and once again, I would like to, to apologize to tree and all of tree's <laughs> viewers and all of my viewers. <laughs> I just don't know what happened the first, the, f the setting up in the first two turns. I just wasn't playing blood ball. I was just, uh, I just don't understand it. Inexplicable, completely inexplicable. inexplicable. See, if the tree had stood up, this is actually a pretty good position for uh, Strider, right? Mm. It's got him kind of like corralled onto one side. Progress yeah. is looking horrible. Yeah, like. If, like as as a person who plays undead sometimes, I I would be very nervous <laughs> already <laughs> at this point, thinking, oh, that's a spicy one, does. It was, wasn't it? it? Felt they didn't need to do the blitz. Often you'll see people where they feel like they have to do the blitz, and you know the odds were in his favour, weren't they? You know, five or six yeah, knocks him down, plus. one he knocks himself down. Yeah. But um, yeah, like this is the the great thing about the tree, right? The tree in the centre like this, you know, even if it does like uh, root or doesn't stand up it still forces somebody into a very narrow frontage and obviously that's a lot easier to defend he's got the chevrons and the double the double at the sides where you know he can't push down the sideline at all and art has just got to like kind of sledgehammer his way through um, the yeah. defense here yeah let's get a pal mm. and a stun they like <laughs> they're not they're staying on the field very irritating very irritating mm. I mean, he's all, to be fair, Art has already made more knockdowns and more injuries than I did in my entire game. <laughs> yeah, he, he has. Yeah. So this is still pretty good for him. But yeah, he, he wants removals, of course he does. Like, you know, yeah. if, if Woodell's have got 11 players, you're in trouble. And he's down yeah, and 10. The, problem, so. the issue is, is he, he, now he's had the zombies sent off, it's, it's, like, it's really tricky to foul now because he's using everyone to like, protect the ball and stuff. Yeah. Do you know what? Um, what you know what we might see here? A uh, standard tree up. Standard tree up. Instantly. Yes. <laughs> Nothing else to do. I don't know why. Uphill, uphill the mummy so it's stuck on the tree. Right. Just dodge this guy away. I mean, he could chain <laughs> that wrestler onto the ball, but it would be uphill because of the guards. That like, he could put like a million guys in and chain the wrestler onto the ball. Um, the one next to the mummy. The one next to the mummy. Yeah. Yeah, no, like on the right, on the right. Not on, on the all right. Well, this, yeah, this, yeah. this one's easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just chain him onto yeah. the ball. Yeah. Pun, and then you've got 1D. And then yeah. you've even got like recovery. Well, yeah, uphill, 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 yeah. uphill. Sorry, beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. He could. It's, it's, it is <laughs> I mean, it's a, not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll share the screen, Dimmy. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, sorry. Am I... Uh, yeah, you're a little bit behind on that. I'm revealing things that happened 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but then I, I wouldn't like I would have missed Christopher's excellent comment then. <laughs> you would have done, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have been okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's quite refreshing for Christopher to have things that I agree with. So uh, it's, it's been a while. Do you think he's going for it? Because that that assist makes it a two D uphill instead of a three D uphill. Uh, he might be going for it, you know. Well, the problem with going for it is he has to base with both. Well, a dancer. Oh, and that would have been the recovery guy. That guy there. Hmm. I don't think he is, mate. No, it's it's a massive dude. commitment. Yeah, I mean, knocking over the mummy is fantastic, and he's going to stick him on the tree. Yeah. Although, I imagine Artemis is going to blitz with. The, well, it's, it's an awkward blitz because you got to do the GFI, but it will get him off the tree. So, and then I guess he could be going straight back onto the tree. So, 
Yeah. Perhaps he won't, actually. Perhaps he won't. Yeah, he's got to just try and hammer his way through like this. This <coughs> normal front. It's awful. Yeah, without getting the removals, it's awful. Mm. The tree Although just dominates the space, so he just shepherds you down a, down a side. It's brutal. The problem is with this is the side step dance is getting smashed with tackle. I probably yeah. would have dodged the dancer out, even though it's frowned upon. Frowned I mean, upon. It's just, it, well, it is, isn't it? It's just it's <laughs> like it's it's like oh my god, they blitzed and then did a two plus dodge. What what an absolute terrible person. But <laughs> like, I mean, a two plus isn't as bad as like you know the three plus like werewolf dodge, you know? Yeah. And this guy actually has dodge as well. I, I mean, it, it prevents it. this happen. Oh, of course, it's pushes. Pushes. I just want normal dice. Puts the reroll in and gets a one in nine. Wow. Mm. He's probably laughing. I reckon he's laughing about that. I don't know. I think he's probably screaming. <laughs> you reckon? You reckon? <laughs> this is like this is like when you're trying to be like like PC on stream and like inside you're raging. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely raging. I don't think Art's streaming this, is he? So um... Nah, I don't think he is. I don't think no, so he's but probably... no, like I mean, like I mean, like because you know, like whenever I watch anyone play against rats or woodies, like you just see them do like something really weird, <clears throat> and they'll just cast the dancer or the gutter runner like instantly. <laughs> and I swear, I've hit gutter runners and dancers about seven thousand times <laughs> in, in the last three games, and like they just do not die. They they don't even get powered. They just. Mm. <laughs> Stay on their feet. Unbelievable. Yep. I mean, this is a couple of two pluses, and he's real solid. Turn six. Timeout. The timeout is actually quite big now. Like you yeah. kind of let it go at the beginning. But also, <laughs> what what I find with with timeouts is, um, first of all, lovely chocolate bar. Second of all, um, was it? I think feel like it was a long time ago. The 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 main thing is. Like, I'm so used to just, like, playing without thinking, do you know what I mean? And, like, yeah. I just feel when this is, like, turn five and stuff, and then, but it's not turn five, it's turn six, you know? Yeah, I do that, yeah, I, I, I totally agree with that as well. And then you suddenly look up at the turn thing, and you think, oh my god, I've got to get, like, miles forward really quickly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the old turn four panic sets in. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised he blocked the mummy, honestly. I'd, like, you know, with him being rooted, I yeah. just left him on the mummy. If 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 Art wants to commit two players to knock to knock him over, let oh, him. One you know? deep on the tackler. Oh, so he could put the, the tackler on the tree. <laughs> okay, it's so he could put the tackler on the tree, maybe. This is looking really good for Strider. Mm. Oh God, I hope there's not this many elves on the pitch on my turn five. Yeah, I I didn't like there being this many elves on the pitch on my turn sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I, I I literally played this match up at UKTC and I was down players at this point. Like the elves were just banging me and I just couldn't yeah. even. They, they just dodge off and you can't hit anyone. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Like it's, it, I, I hate to say it, but it is very. I'm just I'm I'm prepping it for when I do play. <laughs> it's very removal dependent. This match up, it can yes. go very very well for undead. But it can also be an absolute nightmare. Like, it's like, like all Wood Elf games are yeah, dependent because if, if you yeah, don't remove them, they're ridiculous. They're all fucking like you know like that. They're, they're all yeah. movement seven, and they're all they're all strength three, and they're all edge two plus. They're ridiculous if they're not armor if they're not armor eight plus, right? Like that's the thing, you know. Like so, so if you oh, oh my, my god, god. Okay. and like this is the thing as well. With I think the tree is excellent in this particular matchup, like yeah. a lot. Some matchups it's a bit meh, but like the fact that it's stronger than a mummy, yeah. even the fact that it's just rooted and stuck on the center line, yeah. it's still doing a massive job. It's just literally got um, Artemis pinned in here. So. By the way, if Art didn't get the pal there, he sidesteps to here and then traps the tackle completely. But uh, that was hilarious, wasn't it? That you could imagine Artemis is shouting there as <laughs> Strider makes two one D pals and Art makes a triple skull. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh wait, I don't know, Nyaga. It is just you. Okay, good. Um, right, that's What's good. happened? Yeah, um, Jim and Dim sounds slow and intoxicated. Are you watching it at half speed, Nyaga? Somehow. I mean, that's my that's my like normal resting voice. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people have said that I sound like I'm drunk. <laughs> um, yeah. So there you go. Anyway, hello everybody. I'm sorry if I missed chat because it's been you know it's gone a bit quick. Um, 
A six tuple skull. I've never, I've never seen one of those live. I saw. I think Runbad did it. I, I don't. Uh, like it, Nick Runbad, Necronome did it once. Yeah, that's Nick probably Necronome the clip that I've seen. Then I've, I've not it seen is, it happen. It was real a time. Camry. Uh, I, yeah, I think I've seen like two or three. I've never done it myself. No. I, I'm not good enough to make a free dice block. <laughs> good point, Dimmy. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is, it is a good point. You know, at the end of the day, you've got like you know, you've got to play enough like ogres or undead or Kemri. Yeah. You know, you've got to play those kind of games to get consistent three dice blocks anyway. So yeah, because yep. like big guys aren't enough. First of all, there's only like one of them, and second, they've got lowness, so they're unlikely to get the reroll. So yeah, you really do have to play. Undead like Ogres Kemri. or Kemri a significant amount to even have a chance at it, basically. Or like, loads of guard Black Orcs. Mm. What's he doing here? This just is... beating people off, and he's just, be just beating him off. Uh, turn 7... See, the problem is... Is I feel like the switch through the right side is on now. He yeah, he's got two players though. He needs to make both of these dodges. I don't know, he's got he's got he's got he's got the dancer to go over there. And then okay. he's got this dodge. If he fails the the dodge on the the northern mummy ah oh, it's, it's good. It's good. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe he should this, have covered that Yeah first. that that mm. I mean it's pretty good isn't yeah, it? Yeah it's pretty miserable friend dude. I, I have no idea where you go from here. He needs to get the ball in range and in a position where it can't get chained out of range. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he needs to keep it safe. Yeah. Oh my god it's horrendous. Maybe you just give up on the score at this point. Like, it's, well not, not quite but like. Yeah have a bit of sensibleness so that you don't get turned over. Like, Prioritise not getting turned over. Foul the dancer. 100% foul the dancer. You've already, you've already lost a player, but yeah, he's got 13 total, so yeah, okay, he's got a foul of dance here. Yeah, I mean, it's a size. If he can, oh shit, he's done a dodge. Did he do that? Yeah, I guess he did. Okay. Yeah, I like that, I like that, dodge through. That's his last reroll gone, though. Yeah. Does he try and do three dodges with ghouls as well? Uh, it's Yeah, it's a free plus, it's like a weak diagonal. Yeah. Has he got to do a geofire? No. He can't, he can't surely do it with all He might, them. he might, you know. I think he'll cage where he is, and then, uh, and then, like, try and dodge a second one through. Or, like, you yeah. know, like, cage here or something. It's pretty good, though. Pretty good little shot. Right? Maybe he is going to dodge through with all of them. Well, he could, he could do, like, a... The problem is, is the stripper coming around the front. That that war dancer is fast. It can go anywhere. So he yeah. is doing it. He is doing it. Oh boy! So he boy needs to howdy. get. He needs to get one in front, and he needs to get. And then he's just leaving the two plus wrestle sack. Okay, that's not bad. This guy's got to go in front, surely. Oh no, he's no, got to go there. He's got to go there. One, two, three, four. So well, he did make all of the dodges. This is just the 1D strip around the front, right? A 2D strip around the front. Oh yeah, he's got guard. Okay. Guard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, just 1D it then without the assist, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, GFI. How many rerolls? Three rerolls. I wonder if you, you I wonder if you actually just do the uphill just so you get the push direction to the sideline. He could he could he could 2D it with wrestle, right? Because he could blitz and then chain and then block and then chain and then and then 2D it with wrestle. But no, I mean, he's, he's going to 1D it with strip. <laughs> but he could do yeah. that. I guess what he's thinking is like A, he was screwed, and B, like the direction of the, the way he's it's, got to blitz him is it's in between the two guys. So it's it's. It's not easy for Strider to score as well, right? Like, he, neither of these are catchers. If one of these was a catcher, it would look a lot more dangerous for Art. Okay, so he goes oh, he's, there for he's this. He's this way this. to do the 1D to get the push direction. Yeah, yeah, this is this is what my brain couldn't work out, and this is what I wanted to do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just put an assist in, Dim, you know. <laughs> right. Into the crowd. Yeah, it's out. 
It's gone up. No, it's gone sideways. Oh my god. This guy. Uh, this fucking guy gives it to him and he's off and he double so GFIs. You, so we hand off in the tackle zone? No, no, no. He, it just it's a, it just says a GFI, doesn't it? So you just pick up and hand Oh, so guy. he picks it up and runs over to the sideline and yeah. the other guy runs down. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and he can't be reached by anybody. And it, yeah, this is why. You know when I said. Oh I no, point. I hate this guy. Okay, so I guess he's got something there. Yeah. And then this guy dodges out and hands it off to him. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is better, yeah. so he at least had something. Yeah, that's better. Well done, Strider. But I know this, this sounds stupid, and I'm fully aware of that. I'm going <laughs> to say it anyway. But this is why I said almost give up on the score. Oh no, I, like, I agreed. Yeah, I agreed with you. It's like, incredibly last, dangerous. You just turtle it. Like. Because at the end of the day, if Schrader hasn't got a scoring threat, you can roll all the dice and try and score on turn 8, like doing stupid stuff. If he's got a scoring threat, you just turtle. Like, at the end of the day, a lot of the time, this game's going to be 1-1 one, one at half time anyway, because they're just going to one turn. And yeah. like, so you've gone through all this. Like, the, the absolute worst scenario is you're down 1-0 yeah. at half time, you know? Yeah. I mean, I gave up. I like last season. I gave up against scoring against Seabros on like turn three or something, right? Like I just knew it wasn't going to happen. I was just trying to hang on for the nil nil. So yeah, on turn seven here, I, it was easy for me. It would, I wouldn't have thought twice about just turtling and and you know like maybe have maybe have that guy as a scoring threat, right? Like try and get a second scoring threat and protect the ball. But um, you know, I did not really protect the ball. Got one deed. And uh, yeah, even though this guy, these guys were pretty. I mean, it was a great scatter and everything, you know. Like, because if it had gone out the back here, these guys can't really get to it very easily. I guess they could have done right, to be fair. But it would be in three tackle zones. Like, it was going to be in, th it was going to be in two tackle zones or three tackle zones. Yeah, the, the scatter out was brutal. So we got a very lucky scatter. I actually preferred one dicing it to get there, so it could be in you know one tackle zone or something, right? But um, so he got an incredible, incredible scatter. Very lucky. Scatter. It might have even been worth eye caging with the guards, because then at least you're guaranteeing red dice. I don't know. Yes, yeah, well, like up here. Somehow. Like putting putting the goal like behind the guard, like putting the guard one square to the left, basically the guard. He's white. only got one goal, or he's only got one guard, right? So he can still one D him. Whatever happens, he'll be able to one D him. Mm, not if the. Guard is like directly in front of the goal because he's got the two goals behind, right? So there's no way of getting an assist. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get you, like, so, uh, so like, it's like a, a T cage. <laughs> a yeah, yeah, cage. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. Yeah, but of course, one of these goals yeah, is, yeah. is the ball carrier. Oh, <laughs> one of these three that. goals is the ball carrier, though, Dimmy, So you couldn't really do that. There's no Apo for Strider. No. This could be huge. He's I mean, fine, it, I think. it might already be done. His injury, I think, would already come up. Oh no! It's hey, hey. He's only going to get one shot here. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there a GFI on that that score? Yes, one GFI. Oh, imagine he snakes the GFI and his dancers then come back. Mm. I shouldn't say that because, uh, <laughs> you know, Friday the thirteenth and all. Way. Way. Gonna foul the wrestler, is he? Nah. Yeah, he's got, he's got two, right? He's got 13 players. He has to foul. Send off. <laughs> two fouls, two send offs. Excellent. Two stuns. Classic Artemis. <laughs> Four on the call. So he's capped at 11? Yeah. No, he, no he's, he's got 13. Oh, yeah, yeah, he will be, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. God. Oh, I mean, you kind of capped at 11 anyway, aren't you? So that, yeah, that's why I think yeah. it's just absolutely correct to foul. Hello, Plo. Yeah, yeah this, if he'd played this match in Fumble, he wouldn't have got to dice. No, he'd, he'd been diced to do a few times out of miss on Fumble. Um, yeah, I, I like blocking here, right? Because you've got two rerolls, so you can use one reroll on the blocks and then one reroll on the one GFI. I think if you had to make two GFIs, I just would not block at this point and just make sure of the score, because obviously scoring your opponent's drive, pretty good. Pretty Mate, good. I'm, I'm incredibly more nervous now than I would. He's rolled a one! Yeah, uh, it's, it's oh, hard. Oh, two! <laughs> It's really hard. The tree on defense is is 
you know, it's just annoying as fuck, right? Like it, so Strider, Strider won the toss and went on defense, right? I don't know who won the toss. I don't know who won the toss. Uh, I'd imagine he would go on defense though, because no, I also imagine I imagine Art would receive if he won the toss. I yeah, I I did the same thing. I won the toss and I went on offense. Just, I just always tend to go on offense nowadays. Mm. Yeah, I would I would have gone on remove, offense. If you remove, then they remove for the game, right, yeah. rather than a half or whatever. But the problem is, you just never remove. Yeah. If I, if I'd won the toss versus tree, I'd have received. Just try and bank some out, and then because that gives you the best win chances, right? If they if they've got like six players on offense, then there's yeah, more yeah, chance of their offense just... failing. If they've got eleven <laughs> players on offense, then they're just going to stall you out till turn eight. <laughs> Simple as that. Especially if so you it's... if you start off with nine players. <laughs> <laughs> because your brain has fallen out. <laughs> Would you put a tree on a mummy here? Um, yeah, you could, oh, couldn't you? I mean, is it worth it? Is the question. No. Yeah. It's probably not worth failing it, right? It's probably not worth failing. Like rooting on the yeah. side and being completely useless. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, the problem is though the mummies are really slow though. Tree, right? Like that's the thing. Uh, Undead's great against against Skaven because they get to smash the armor seven bit, the, the armor seven dudes. But the and armor, they don't dodge away on two pluses. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas elves are just like choose. <laughs> we won't actually get hit by mighty blow ever. <laughs> I feel like this is one of the classic matchups though. Mm. Uh, Undead versus Woodies. I think this it is, is like. Yeah. A, it's a, it's like. It's an interesting game, and it can go either way, like, and they can all be very different from each other despite being exactly the same game. Mm. Well, that makes any sense. It does, yeah. It is ten versus eleven, and the other dancer is out. So there's only one dancer in play for Strider. Quick snap. Oh. Should have a block Could line off for blitzers. To be fair, Niagara, he's got two war dancers for blitzers. He's just uh, he's just happened to have uh, had one of them KO. Yeah, no want. one seems to go. Yeah, no one seems to go block on wood. I don't think I've seen any. Like they always seem to go dodge or wrestle. Yeah. Like was it monitor just went all dodge, and then I think everyone else tends to go two dodge two wrestle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't really, yeah. Like, you're not going to be punching massive amounts. Are you? you just blitz and then dodge and run away. Yeah, wrestle tends to be better. Also, wrestle hel helps you against dwarves more, right? And dwarves are the worst matchup. Uh, and the ball sacks. Despite Tree saying she struggles more versus uh, undead and humans, but d dwarves are the worst matchup for us, like, statistically. Of course, people can play differently and find different things personally, but statistically, dwarves are the worst matchup. I and, guess it depends uh, on who the dwarf coach is. Well, yes, but statistically, dwarves are the worst matchup, and and wrestle helps more against them, right? So, like, just straight away, that helps more against the absolute worst. Yeah, and dodge is just stats. like pointless, isn't it? Yeah. Um. So wrestle's got a lot of value in that regard. Um. But yeah, <laughs> humans are fast. Humans are a pretty decent team versus elves. It never feels good. In, especially if they get a mighty blow tackler. Yeah. If they, if if humans get a mighty blow tackler, they're fast. And you know that they've got enough guard that it's like fighting orcs, except they're just faster than them, right? They're just like plus movement orcs, because as generally as elves, you're not inflicting you know enough blocks and stuff to reliably attrition them anyway. So like they're basically just plus movement orcs, which is uh, which is not a good matchup for anybody. <laughs> so. This is this is the thing with the chevrons being like one square forward. I know it's like harder for them to come through the middle and I guess it is 1-0 so obviously he wants to stop the two turn but it does give the follow up with the tree to now tag the guard right which is yeah right I, I saw you do the chevrons like the one square forward as so well I guess it's got a lot of good things about it yeah well, yeah, like, because the biggest weakness of the chevrons is them knocking over the three in the yellow S and running through and getting a cage in the middle of your field, right? And mm. then it's 2 0 and then the game's over, right? So mm. I can completely understand why he's done it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, Necro. Yeah, to be fair, block would be better against Necro because Necro don't actually have a lot of block, do they? Oh, there's a rule. Doesn't re roll that. Surely. Yeah. Uh, 
And, uh, yep. Uh, hello, Tulian. The scoreboard is correct these days. Yes, the scoreboard is actually correct. Strider turned over Artemis and uh, now has the ball. And is about to get a lot of guys based. Oh, in fact, yeah. he's left a gaping hole because he's down players. Funnily enough, quite good, isn't it, being up players? Um, Art might be doing the Dimmy G strats of getting some ghouls around the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can't actually pick it up, though. He can only face the dancers. Mm, I think the he dancers, will, though. The dancer. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, he's yeah. just going for the split. He's just going well, no, for the he's, split. He's, he's got the bludger, isn't he? Uh, the yeah. block one. But I mean he could have he could have based with both, right? Mm. Oh there's still a bug with bombs in the ball. Oh no. Oh no. I mean none of us are surprised, let's be honest. <laughs> The pro see the problem is about like if if you go towards the ball they just go away from you right like this is what oh, I said. Oh, I mean, in, in, all he needs to do is your game, Timmy, is that like yeah. you know if if like that's the thing you know you were behind so you had to make something happen, but the problem is you go towards and they just go away from you so it is tricky. This so is I it. do see Art's point of view here. All he needs to do is pick up the ball, hand it off to one of them wrestle guys in the middle, and then run behind the mummy on the right and he's out of reach of everybody and he's just scored for free so I didn't like this yeah that's a good point yeah <laughs> so all, all he, he just punches one of these ghouls out of the way and then hands off to the geezer behind the tree yeah in fact the other guy this this guy can also and there's a, he hasn't he hasn't connected that screen there either so the, the rookie ghoul and the wrestle ghoul there's just a channel to run past both of them yeah <clears throat> yeah this is so uh, you, two, you can hit yeah, you can hit with the tree. It's a bit awkward though because you want to blitz with the wrestle guy that's behind the tree, but you can't really. You can't have the blitz with the wrestle ball that's on the right. Yeah. <clears throat> but a couple of GFIs and he's out of range of everyone. So it yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty strong. Yeah. That's pretty strong. Kinda needs a pow. The tree needs a pow on this. Zombie right in the middle, but it yeah. needs is three dice. It's it? not a three dice, is it? Because he's got an assist. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. He's not. It's not a three dice. He's six, seven, eight versus three, four. So it's not a three. Oh, dice. so maybe maybe you take the wrestle hit with the wrestle guy in the middle, and yeah, then hit and the tree, then and then with a the tree. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, he's not. Oh no, he could still be going for it because it, the, it's the dance that has to pick it up and hand off to him. I do like this though, Dimmy. I do like this this idea. Well, it's just two 0 and it's game over. Isn't it? He's blitzing now instead. He's yeah, he's going just going to pull back and screen. Like I, I guess, like the thing is, is this is the safer route, right? It's safer for this turn. Yeah, you know, it is safer for this turn. Yeah, this this school should have been should have done a GFI, I guess. But it, you know, it doesn't matter, does it? At the end of the day. Uh, obviously, Strider's a little bit better at block holder than him, so. <laughs> well, it's. Uh, that's the thing, isn't it? Your, your way was like winning the game a sizable percentage of the time, right? So, like, so this is safer, but it, it may lead to worse win odds overall. Nobody knows, do they? We don't have. We don't have Blood Bowl Stockfish. Blood Bowl Stockfish. <laughs> but if, you know, like, your, your play was like, you know pretty high up well first also with your player right you can just do like the hit you can still do this hit that he's made you can still do yeah. this hit that he's made and then see what happens with those two hits and then if they're both successful then you can if they're not like they were both pals right so now this handoff that you wanted looks a lot better and stuff so um but of course yeah you could have won in 27 on the tree block and then yeah and, just lose. and then so, you lose the game so his, well not his, lose but yeah you'd be one down a yeah. one one up one one yeah so his way was safer oh he does the tackle dodge tackle's pretty good mm -hmm. it's it's all right well it's the thing is that guy is getting surfed as well why didn't <laughs> he gets cast yeah and he's surfing that doesn't re-roll it gets cast gets his other guy surfed Artem is loving this and he could just be staring down the barrel being one nil down right it's just yeah. it's mad madness Shouldn't follow here, you know. Even though getting one square back is quite good, you do want to like stay as central as possible, right? 
Yeah, I don't think he's going to have... I guess that, that dodge rhino next to the tree is probably... that That's a problem for our... Yep. You can GFI with a guard in there, which is a lovely spot. And then block this guy at the end. But yeah, this guy's problematic. You could just blitz this guy, right? Keep I think I think that's you. that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, um, yeah. Honestly, I guess yeah. he wants to base the ball, so just blitz the wrestler and base the ball. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I'm not sure. To be honest, I would have much rather blitz the catcher because you don't need the assist for it, and then <coughs> you can still base the ball if that's what you want. Um, I think it's just too easy. It just two plus everyone out and run around, isn't it? Or wait. Or, He's just got to get to that guy, yeah. Yep. Save him Private Ryan, whatever, and just give him the ball. <laughs> Let him leg it. Yeah, this is very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. What's the leap out? It's uh, one tackle zone to one tackle zone. Is that a four Ooh, plus? Yeah. It's a, uh, no, a three plus. What, one, one tackle zone is a three plus. So it's a three plus leap over. So we dodge the wrestler, blitz the guard, and then... Just leap over and dodge and hand off, I think. You can probably just run around, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, GFI, GFI is better, because he's got three rerolls. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it is just a. Yeah, so I think just. The iffy bit is the dodge in the wrestler, right? Dodge, wrestle bits. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's really easy now. That's the only thing you can do, isn't it? Like. Art has uh, Art has invited this doom upon himself, but yeah? Strider doesn't go for it. Mm. I really like. Oh no, no, it. he's going. He's going to cage behind the tree here. Yeah. I think, yeah. which is again just safer. I I say safer. Mm. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Fillion. Yeah. So the way it, the way a leap works is zero tackle zones is a two plus, one or two is a three plus, and three is a four. He's got to do something with that zombie on the right there, though, which is also a problem. Yeah, he's got a lot of problems. Um, yeah. He probably should have done what Dimmy said. If you're ever unsure, just ask yourself what would Dimmy do. Roll all the dice. Yeah, he can, you know, he can dodge this guy out, can't he? And, uh, yeah, he dodges the dodger out, and then he has to him. dodge the rest of the round. No, no, he, he, oh yeah, 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 he, yeah he's going to dodge him. <coughs> but he's, first he's got to block, right? He's got to block these two guys first. <laughs> well, he's got to re-roll that one. He absolutely million percent has to re-roll that one. Yeah, and now he gets the follow, so... Yeah, but now he gets the block, well, the, block, the wrestle hit. And now he gets to move the uh, wrestler. Which, to be fair, leaves a whole bunch of, of Art's team. Well, no, not that far behind, but that, thing, that was the problem. He yeah. came with all the ghouls and he's got nothing else. So the thing is, is uh, Strider's got no one in range. So this gives Artemis a hard reset turn without oh. having any threat of... He just of, stayed like, there, what? Yeah, I don't know. Or to, like, you, like, to surf bait him, right? Yeah, it's so. Well, I guess, I guess the the thing is, is Strider doesn't need to score, right? So if Art ignores him, he might just run back to him later. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's dev that has to be surf bid. I guess he thought, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There wasn't good enough, so it was surf bait. Yeah, I liked Dimmy's play as well. I really liked it. It was a good spot, Dimrath. Well done. I just, yeah, I, it's the classic turn two panic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I need to run away. No, it's right. I mean, it's right. It's it's what you've it's what you've got to defend against as as well. Like as the undead right here. Like you're one nil down. A score at any point is game over. It's game over, pretty much. Yeah. So you have to be so disciplined to not allow. You've got to make sure there's no kind of handoff play like that. That is that is absolutely priority number one. You cannot give up a, a handoff play like that. And he, you know, Strider had it, and it was pretty easy. At the end of the day, it was a pretty easy handoff play. And yeah, this uh, is budged. I don't I don't know how he gets out of this one. Uh, this is fudged. Yeah, I was refraining. 
Yeah, well done, Dimmy. Very good. I don't know. Correct. Yeah. I don't like allowing the 2 plus dodge here from Artemis. I think he should have no, GFI. I think, yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're going to blitz with the wrestle guy. We're going to blitz the ghoul and then we're going to just run backwards. We're going to dodge out. Um, so we're going to blitz the ghoul and then run back and then use the catcher and the dodger to screen. So yeah. we're just going to make a T shape back where he was the turn before. Like a T cage. Like a. I don't know how to say it. Like just a, a screen. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, he'd just, just screen him, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, the seven. He comes out, he comes out, and you've just got like a screen, and then you've still got yeah. the options open. But it's not as good as just scoring three turns ago, like Dimmy. <laughs> yeah. The rest of it would be sad. I mean, you don't have to blitz with a wrestle, really, right? You can just dodge with a dancer, blitz with a dancer. Oh, too fast. Because you're going to have to dodge with him anyway. Well, the problem with dodging with a dancer is if you get the pushes, then you then have to dodge through the ghoul again as well afterwards because but that's you, can't okay, isn't it? Push, you can't push him in a direction that doesn't mean you have to dodge again. No, but that's okay. Like, the wrestler's yeah. the same on the push and the wrestler hasn't got dodge. No, the wrestler's not the same on the push because you blitz from directly behind the ghoul and push him to the mummy. And then you move to catch Oh, then you blitz with this wrestler, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so stupid at it. I didn't yeah. think of this wrestler. Okay, okay, he's rolling He's rolling dice, he's rolling dice. I was thinking of this wrestler because he wants to dodge away anyway. I didn't like it that much, but oh, yeah, okay, this one's a million times better. He's just going to potato, gonna he's going to jump, he's going to He's gonna leap and score. Uh, and that score was terrifying one day, and it, like this... Oh my god, this is scary. Uh, this is way worse than doing it when you said Dimmy, but it's going to be good enough, probably. Uh, oh, he's blitzed it. Oh, okay, right, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, blitz through with him. And then dodge these two to screen. Oh, God, I hate Woody's. I feel <laughs> sick. I actually feel <laughs> nervously sick, man. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, he, th this lino can get to there, and then this catcher can just 3 2 to uh, make a That's three a very three. important 3 2, though. Holy moly. That's a massive 3 2. Double GFI. Do you know what? I think he needs he need to. Cover he just double GFIs with a dancer and then dodges this guy around here, and then that's pretty and much tags, done. Yeah, stands in front of the wrestler. Yeah, yeah. Just there. I'm in agreement. Oh no, oh. I hate this, I hate this, because now, oh. now, now you've got two critical dodges, two critical players to me. And, and his tackle can hit it, because <laughs> he's two GFIs. Oh and god, yeah! That's horrendous. Whereas if he was one square forward, the tackle just couldn't hit it yep. and before he failed that dodge. I guess, oh, it's, it's scary, man. It was, de it was definitely better to just do the GFIs. And then if you do the GFIs, these guys are irrelevant. And I guess, like at the end of the day, the GFIs are also two pluses. And but this was a three-two, wasn't it? So, yeah, yeah, that so, was the three-two. That was the last. But then the GFIs, if you fail, you just lose. Oh, I don't know. It's hard. But he was losing if he failed any of these dodges. It was. Yeah. I mean, he's got there. He's got there. Maybe he should have I gone think. full distance away, just to yeah get out of range of the tackle. So he'd be in a less strong position now. But yeah. at least he would have been away from the tackle. Well, he moved. He didn't need to do a GFI to get out of range of no, the tackle. Yeah, he, no, he, yeah. moved, he moved one to the side mm. instead of straight down. But it meant that he didn't have to do a GFI on the line on the front left. Yeah. So it's kind of... But I, I really wouldn't... Because the thing is, if he had to do the 3-2 on the other guy before he blocked the tackle completely. So. Well, so he's going to come in with a tackle now, isn't he? He actually is fully just going to come in with a tackle right here. You're, what, what, that's a five, a, a five is well, Who five else is man? going to do it, Dimmy? Is, where's that wrestle ball? Is that wrestle ball in range? Wrestle ghoul can't do it better. One, two, One, two three, 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 four, five, six, six, seven, GFI, GFI, like the... Yes, yeah, it maybe it's the five plus. Yeah, maybe it's the Because mm. otherwise... Whoa, it, isn't the, the five plus dodge with the ghoul just better and the double GFI, isn't that... But, mm, well, I guess you don't use your reroll, but... I guess you need the wrestle goal for recovery, didn't you? I guess so. It's just oh, that it's like it's a three. It's a three four with a goal, right? It's a oh three, no 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 no. You, you come in. You come uh, in the three, back three, with five. the wrestle goal. You don't do the tackle. You do the wrestle goal that's next to the tackle. 
All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then you come in the back with him. Oh my god. Know. Yeah. I didn't even see him. I was just looking at the tackle. Oh yeah. So one more square wouldn't have mattered because the wrestler would have still been in range. So he probably did have to like double GFI. It was probably the best. Yeah. Double GFI and then just shut down this side. Art oh, fails. I thought you made it. I thought you made it. Art fails as always. <laughs> Another stupid dicing. <coughs> Do you stall this out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could. You could. There's lots of I mean, things like, can't you hit probably, you, really. You probably should, right? Yeah. I don't know. It just feels incredibly greedy. But it does, like, like six and two yeah. feet. Honestly, the chance of uh, making you roll a one in thirty-six and you rolling it is probably more than oh, you know him oh. scoring in two and then turning you over and scoring two again. Oh, he's just conceded. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, that's completely fair. It's done there. Yeah. It's yeah. Done. My verdict is, it's completely fair. Either Strider stalls it out for a turn or two more, or. Um, he scores and maybe Art loses two one, but uh, I'm completely, I'm completely fine with uh, Art conceding that one. Um, I yeah, hate, game is done. I hate that it doesn't go to the post match screen after the game ends. That does my fucking nut in. I can't believe how shit that is, and that they still haven't fixed it. But never mind. Um, so there you go. It was a two 0 win for Strider. Um, absolute classic Elven defence, wasn't it? You know, just. Just shepherd them onto the sideline with the presence of the tree, even a rooted tree, just made him take the side, made it impenetrable. Eventually, Art exposed the ball, Strider got the perfect scatter, he's away, and then uh, second half was just Els dodging. Yeah, the scatter was brutal. Yeah, the scatter was absolutely brutal because it was really hard. And any other, like five of the eight scatters were not good for Strider, and then he got like an absolutely perfect one. So yeah, um, but you know, still well played by Strider. You know, it's not easy, not easy playing these bash teams, is it? That you know can kill all your players, and if things go well. But uh, yeah, you know, it was very well played from both. Commiserations, that congratulations, Strider. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Being glorious having you in the booth. Yeah, no, I enjoyed that one. That was uh... oh, I was writing loads of notes. <laughs> 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 oh my god it's gonna be horrible <laughs> and uh thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic